After months of radio silence and top-secret tinkering, the United States has pulled back the curtain on its latest defense marvel, a hypersonic missile system so fast and precise it could give a fighter jet an inferiority complex. Recently tested in the vast waters of the Pacific Ocean, this cutting-edge system has not only stunned the global defense community but also sent a rather loud and clear message to geopolitical rivals. We see you and we can hit you before you blink. Russia has certainly tuned in. With a blend of jaw-dropping speed, smart detection, and missile-busting accuracy, this development could shift the entire chessboard of 21st century warfare. So what exactly happened in this hush-hush test? Let's dive in. Guam, more than just a tropical getaway. If you thought Guam was just a remote speck in the Pacific where tourists go to escape reality, think again. This tiny island is now America's front porch to one of the most tension-packed neighborhoods on Earth, the Indo-Pacific. Located about 2,000 miles from both China and North Korea, Guam is home to the Aegis Ashore Missile Defense System, a radar setup so advanced it makes science fiction look outdated. Think of Guam as the security camera at your front door only this one can detect and shoot down ballistic missiles traveling at five times the speed of sound. Cozy, right? Night moves, when satellites spot the unseen. On what was supposed to be just another calm night in paradise, American satellites noticed something odd, a hot flash of energy over a quiet stretch of the Pacific. No, it wasn't a UFO or a rogue volcano. It was a missile launch detected from space. Alarms screamed to life at the Guam base. Soldiers scrambled into action. The threat, a missile moving at over 4,000 miles per hour, the challenge? Spot it, track it, and smack it out of the sky before it ruins someone's day. Cue the hero, the Army Navy Transportable Radar Surveillance System, affectionately known as the Army Navy Transportable Radar Surveillance System 6, because why not throw in every letter of the alphabet? Radar that sees through lies and decoys. The Army Navy Transportable Radar Surveillance System 6 radar doesn't just see far, it sees smart. This towering behemoth with scanning panels the size of apartment buildings can detect objects over 1,000 miles away. More impressively, it can tell the difference between a real warhead and a bunch of space junk pretending to be dangerous. As the test missile soared through the sky, it dumped decoys like a magician trying to misdirect a crowd. But this radar wasn't fooled. It locked onto the actual threat like a bloodhound with a PhD in physics, giving America's interceptors the targeting data they needed to make the kill. The hit that didn't explode. Most people think you need an explosion to take down a missile. Not anymore. During the test, U.S. forces launched a standard Missile 3 Block 2A interceptor, which mid-flight released a smaller kinetic kill vehicle. That mini-missile didn't explode it simply smashed into the incoming target at nearly 10,000 miles per hour, obliterating it on impact. It was like throwing a rock so fast that it shatters a speeding bullet. In other words, physics just got a standing ovation. Why hypersonic defense is the new arms race? Let's be clear, America's not the only one upgrading its missile tech. North Korea recently boasted about its Hwasong 16B missile claiming it can hit speeds of Mach 12 and uses solid fuel for quicker launches. While experts aren't exactly sold on its full capabilities, the progress is undeniable especially with a little behind-the-scenes help from Russia. With both China and North Korea expanding their missile arsenals like they're building a buffet menu, the Indo-Pacific has turned into the most tension-filled region on the map. That's why missile defense isn't just necessary, it's mandatory. Guam, Fortress of the Pacific Guam's transformation into a military fortress began over a decade ago. In 2013, the Patriot Missile System set up shop. Then came Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, designed to intercept ballistic missiles during their screaming fast final descent. But in 2024, the Navy kicked things up a notch by installing Aegis Ashore, a system once limited to ships, now supercharged on land. Unlike ship-based radars, which are constrained by size and power, the land-based version enjoys all the perks, giant radar panels, stable platforms, and unlimited electricity. It's like upgrading from a compact laptop to a full-blown supercomputer. The Navy's high-tech shield. The U.S. Navy isn't just sailing the high seas, it's patrolling with some of the most advanced tech the ocean has ever seen. 
Right now, there are 83 Aegis-equipped warships cruising around, including 74 Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and 9 Ticonderoga-class cruisers. Out of these, 53 vessels are tricked out for ballistic missile defense, basically, they're like floating missile magnets with a PhD, and nope, not today. These ships are strategically placed across the Pacific, with a strong presence near Japan, South Korea, and Guam. They are like the neighborhood watch of the ocean except instead of binoculars, they've got SP, Y6 radars and standard missiles that can take out threats at incredible speeds. Oh, and did we mention each ship can carry up to 96 missiles? That's nearly 500 ready-to-launch interceptors when just five ships team up. A floating fireworks display? Not quite. These aren't your granddad's bottle rockets, they're sleek, fast, and designed to smack enemy threats out of the sky faster than you can say, missile incoming. And yes, they also have onboard recreation, so between defending democracy and maintaining regional stability, there's always time for a little karaoke. Just don't expect them to go easy on highway to the danger zone. Bombers in the sky, just passing by. Now, if you think all the action's happening at sea, think again. High above the Pacific, the Anderson Air Force Base in Guam is quietly flexing with some of the most iconic bombers in the sky. We're talking about the legendary B-52 Strato Fortress, which has been flying since the Cold War but still packs a punch like it's in its prime, and the stealthy B-2 Spirit, which looks like Batman's jet and flies like a ghost. These bad boys don't just cruise, they carry a payload of over 20 cruise missiles, each capable of striking targets more than 1,000, 500 miles away. That means they could fly from Guam to the Chinese coast and back without ever entering enemy airspace. It's like sending a postcard that explodes but with extreme precision. Thanks to mid-air refueling, these aircraft can stay in the skies longer than your average movie marathon. They're the ultimate sword and shield combo silent, deadly, and always on call. Whether it's knocking out radar installations, missile silos, or the occasional rogue threat, these bombers make sure the U.S. is always one step, and one altitude level, ahead. And yes, with a name like Strato Fortress, it's fair to assume these planes mean business. But we still think they should paint a smiley face on the nose because nothing says diplomatic deterrence like friendly intimidation at 30,000 feet. The silent partner in the east, while everyone's watching China and North Korea, Russia is quietly fanning the flames. By supplying missile engines and guidance systems to Pyongyang and conducting joint drills with China, Moscow is helping shape a new, more dangerous Indo-Pacific balance. So when America's new missile system aced its test, it wasn't just about flexing military muscle. It was a global signal. The United States is still very much in the game, and it just added cheat codes. Missile defense isn't just about blowing things up, it's about strategy, deterrence, and keeping the peace through preparation. In peacetime, these systems scare off bad actors. In wartime, they can prevent catastrophe. And in every moment in between, they remind the world that defense can be just as high-tech, fast, and relentless as offense. Thanks for watching. If that missile defense system blew your mind, figuratively, of course, then imagine what's coming next. If you enjoyed diving into the future of warfare, smash that like button like it's a hypersonic interceptor. Got thoughts about Guam, missile defense, or which country you think is leveling up fastest? Drop a comment below, we actually read them. And hey, don't be a ghost radar blip, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a launch, a test, or a surprise twist in the global power game.